three years old, I was kicking things uh, quite aggressively. So mum was like, I need to channel that aggression somewhere. And she was like, right, let's get you into Gaelic football, anything that you can kick something with a bit of grit. I think they're called this from youth. They, they probably have a different name now. It was boys team. And probably one of the most notable players there was Ben Kennedy, at Crusaders now. And that's where I started my footballing journey. Um, just a little leisure centre, going every Monday night, paying three quid in and <laughs> kicking around with the boys and trying to do my best. We played Champions League up here with Glen Torn and we actually did quite we did quite well. We were just unlucky not to get past the stage that we did and I sort of decided I wanted more for myself. I wanted to explore how football is played down south compared to up here, which was great. So that really set me up for when I did um, go to England and play for Lewis. I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot about myself as a player, as a person, and I made some really great friends, but I also learned a lot that I hope that I can start to bring back and show. I think socially, massively, I've made a massive Stick sacrifice for that. I'd avoid going out with friends, I'd avoid going to parties or gatherings just because I was worried about my sleep, my nutrition, and my hydration for training. Not even a match, just training because I wanted to be the best. Being a personal trainer is not my forever job, I'll put it that way. But you talk about sacrifices, I'm doing this job because it allows me to play football. It's I'm self-employed, so it means I work the hours that I want to work. I'm very flexible um, and it means that I can move clients around football schedule, training schedule and everything like that there. I grew up in a single parent family even though my father was present. He's not present in my life, so my mum would choose, unfortunately, sometimes between giving me money for training and paying for like bread to make sandwiches for us to go to school. So she'd always choose training and for that I'm forever grateful because I've had a very positive outlet um, mentally and physically growing up through all of that sort of trauma, I suppose, um, through parents splitting up, arguing, everything like that there. So because of that, that's what motivates me and that's that's why I think every, you know, train every training session like a child ask, remember what your mum gave up for you. Um, because she didn't have to. She could very easily have stayed in the house. No, I can't afford to take you there. But no, she was like, this is a positive thing for my kid. I'm going to keep her going as much as I can. And for that, I'm forever grateful for.